What's up guys, my name is Liam, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Glassworks Cosme. I've already labeled their previous pad, the Akari, my favorite speed glass pad. So how does this stack up, and more importantly, is this going to be the perfect glass mouse pad for you? Let's check it out. <laughs> Before we get started today, I did want to let you know this was sent out to me. However, everything you'll be hearing in this video is going to be my own words and my own opinions. This did arrive to my front door in this pretty beefy packaging. A lot of foam in here, so it did arrive nice and safely. And in the box, it did come included with this cleaning cloth. And the dimensions of this, I got it sitting at 490 millimeters in width by 420 millimeters in height, and it's sitting at 3.5 millimeters in thickness. It does come with this honeycomb silicone base that goes from edge to edge. Sits on my desk nicely. I didn't have any issues with it moving around on me while I was using it. And sitting at 3.5 millimeters in thickness, this does feel really low profile. It has these nice rounded edges on it. So the entire time that I was using it, I don't feel like it was raised up too high or anything like that to where the edges were bothering my forearm as I was using it in game. The artwork on this also looks fantastic in person. These colors pop nice and bright and it looks really sharp. So really clean looking image. And when it comes to the feeling and the performance of the surface of the Cosme, I'm honestly gonna sound a little bit like a broken record compared to the review that I did on the Akari. Even though these are not a one for one identical to one another, they honestly feel very similar in a lot of properties with the Cosme feeling just a little bit smoother. And I do feel like this surface is just a little bit more quiet than the Akari. So I will categorize this as being on the faster end of the the spectrum for a glass speed pad. You get a really low sense of static friction as you're trying to make any micro adjustments. And even the glide across the surface is really fast. So not the fastest pad that I've ever used, but definitely up there in the higher spectrum of speed. But with all this being said, like I kind of mentioned with the Akari, the one really great thing about this pad is I do feel like it still gives you a really great sense of control. So I don't get the sense of where I'm like missing it, clicking on any icons on my desktop or anything like that even really easy to use this as I have been editing videos. But do keep in mind, if you never have used a faster speed pad before, you've always just stuck to slower control style cloth pads. Obviously you might get this and disagree with me and feel like it does feel a bit too fast, but coming from someone who uses speed pads quite a bit and has experience with lots of glass pads at this point, you do still get a really solid sense of control as you're using this. And even if you were to push in it more, trying to maintain any additional stopping power or extra control. As I've been using this just with normal use I get like actually no sound at all when I'm just making small movements if you do go back and forth quickly you can get a little bit more of an audible difference there so really quickly let's go ahead and drop a speed test I'll go ahead and throw some dot skates on here these corner skates and we'll even do a set of larger skates so you can see what the surface will sound like So when comparing the Akari to the Cosme, I have seen reports of the Cosme having a little bit higher of dynamic and static friction, but through my experience, honestly, like I said, they really do feel really similar to one another. Even though this Akari surface feels very smooth, this is one of the smoothest glass surfaces that I have ever felt, the Cosme does actually feel just a little bit smoother than this. But as I was doing the glide test comparisons of the Cosme against other glass mouse pads, I'll be showing you shortly, like the Padsmith and even on the Pulsar Super Glide, the performance of both of them, they looked very similar to one another. So on the Cosme, again, low static and dynamic friction with it being a fast pad, not feeling too slippery, still having a really good sense of control. And again, very similar type of a feeling over here on the Akari. So we'll go ahead and drop a glide test comparison between both of them. So comparing it to the Padsmith Empress, you do notice more of a texture on this pad and all around it just feels slower and more controlled, having higher static 
and higher dynamic friction compared to the Cosme. So let's go ahead and drop the glide test comparison between both of these. The Akari and the Cosme did come out just a little bit faster than the Super Glide in all of my speed comparison tests. But as I had mentioned before, you do notice a little bit more of a texture over here on the Super Glide. The Super Glide does offer a little bit more of that slipper feeling as you're using it, trying to click on desk icons and stuff like that. So you do feel a little bit more control with the Cosme, with it being just slightly a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and drop the speed test comparison between both of them. All right, guys, so that about wraps things up on the Glassworks Cosme, and clearly Glassworks is just killing it. Honestly, I really love this thing. I'm gonna go and put this right up there with the Akari as being my favorite speed glass mouse pad. If you were to put a gun to my head and make me choose between both of them, due to the fact I do kind of like the artwork just a little bit more on the Cosme, I like the colors as well, and I do like the smoother feeling surface, I probably would go with this one. So if you did miss out on the Akari, I wouldn't feel too bad about it anymore. I would just pick this up and I really feel like this glass mouse pad is about as good as it gets. All right, guys, so if you have any questions or feel like I left anything out, please let me know down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed watching this video and are interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, please drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.